a few things never show signs of change. Similarly as concerned natives hunting down answers encompassing the baffling demise of the 35th leader of the United States, John F. Kennedy, trust they are getting nearer to reality, the untamed CIA choose to ignore government orders and inadvertently lose Lee Harvey Oswald documents that were expected for open discharge. The official account, that a solitary previous Marine named Harvey Oswald killed JFK is broadly debated and concerned subjects trusted the CIA discharge would at last discredit the long-standing yet squeaking authority story. In any case, it shows up the CIA won't let that happen. Truth and straightforwardness are to Washington, D.C., as daylight and crosses are to Dracula. TFTP reports, all accessible archives from all administration elements are required by the Kennedy Assassination Records Collection Act of 1992 to be discharged on October 26, 2017. Be that as it may, if history rehashes itself, the Central Intelligence Agency may not discharge a whole volume of records on Oswald, known as Volume 5. As Sputnik reports, the discharge in July of 3810 CIA and FBI archives on the death by the Assassination Records Review Board hurled various disclosures that JFK analysts have eagerly eaten up and excitedly announced. For example, the leader of Dallas at the season of Kennedy's death, Earl Cabell, was a CIA resource in the 1950s, and his sibling, Charles Cabell, a high-positioning CIA official until 1962. The discharge in October has been profoundly expected by those looking for answers. Notwithstanding, on account of a think fudging or records, or a helpfully coordinated administrative blunder, a whole volume may never observe the light of day. Inside Langley Air Force Base's CIA headquarters is an office known as the Office of Security. The Office of Security keeps up its own best mystery files known as the Office of Security Archival Holdings and is a different file from the organization's all the more as often as possible utilized office situated in Alexandria, Virginia known as the Agency Archival Record Center. As late as 1977, the whole seven-volume accumulation of reports was in place having been looked at by Russ Holmes in the Office of General Counsel and noticed the seven-volume arrangement was altogether, not missing any volumes. Be that as it may, when the CIA was solicited to turn over the volume from records on Oswald, the contract killer in the death, it appears the organization stonewalled somewhat, similar to a shell diversion as indicated by free specialist Malcolm Blunt. Limit portrayed the stonewalling. This enormous hunt by CIA did not surface Oswald's security documents and the Assassination Records Review Board AARB, stayed ignorant about their reality. Not until 1997 when an ARRB staff member unearthed confirmed that two past congressional examinations approached these records did CIA find them. The ARB in the long run we got the seven-volume set of records on Oswald in 1998. Yet staff members immediately acknowledged there was one volume missing, Volume 5. An organization clarification was offered that Volume 5 could have been merged into Volume 4, or Volume 6 for instance. Inevitably, the organization finished up, as indicated by Blunt, Volume 5 of Oswald's security document may never have existed. Up until this point, 2017 has been a time of suspicion for JFK intrigue scholars as they anticipate the arrival of all records encompassing the death of one of the nation's most dearest presidents. One gathering, known as the Citizens Against Political Assassinations, is eating at the bits to get to Volume 5 and others. They trust the official government account is loaded with openings and should be explored. A significant number of its individuals are attorneys, and as TFTP has announced, have wanted to demonstrate Oswald's innocence of any wrongdoing if conceivable. Be that as it may, it is lawyer Lawrence Schnopf, chair of the Environmental Law Section of the New York Bar Association, whose remarks concerning the present president and his association with the deep state, inferred yet not alluded to all things considered, have the media burning with disgust yet another political death. Schnopf is the co-seat of the Copilegitimate Board of Trustees, after a short dialogue of why JFK's death is pertinent today, Schnauf contrasted the mid-1960s and 2017s. 
He said the Warren Commission was the first phony news association whose conclusions later turned into the official government story. In spite of the fact that the commission declined to seek after exculpatory data, which is currently taken cover behind a government mystery, he says he expectations will turn out this year, in consistence with the JFK Assassination Records Act. Turning consideration again to the instance of JFK the gathering intends to utilize the shell housings found on the scene in 21st century ballistics examinations to definitively decide if Oswald really murdered JFK. He said they're initially going to lead a derived trial in November, and later an authority legitimate continuing called a court of inquiry, an official court continuing to demonstrate Lee Oswald was not the shooter. That is the thing that we would like to demonstrate. The gathering wants to erase Oswald's name from the official account, clearing his, as well as his daughter's, to cancel the stains of their dad's name from theirs. Oswald was not convictable, substantially less indictable. He finished up. The respectable legal advisor fights that the prevailing press frequently disregards the genuine story, that the administration is not straightforward, and that the Department of Justice, which additionally incorporates the FBI, has been politicized. 